Turkey has long ways spoken about establishing relations with Armenia unconditionally. However, so far inside their political circle, there are other opinions. Turkey pursues a policy of normalization of relations with Armenia with the consent and approval of Azerbaijan. This statement came from Emir Çelik, spokesman for Turkey's ruling Justice and Development Party, the AKP, Trend reports. According to him, as Turkish President Recep Tayyip Erdogan stated, Turkey will not take part in any initiative that the people and state of Azerbaijan will consider inexpedient. Earlier, the chairman of the True Path Party, the DYP of Turkey, had noted that Armenian-Turkish relations should not be established without Armenia refusing genocide recognition demand. And now the leader of Turkey's nationalist Great Unity Party, the BBP, said Turkey should posit two preconditions before Armenia for the normalization of relations. BBP chairman Mustafa Destici claimed that Artsakh Nagorno-Karabakh has not been completely liberated yet and that Armenia should hand over those territories too and also stop the work toward the recognition of the Armenian genocide, Haberler reports. Azerbaijan has responded negatively to Armenia's proposals on the matter of border delimitation and demarcation. Armenian former Mr. Arat Mirzoyan told reporters about this on Thursday. He clarified that various proposals were submitted to which there was a negative response. Mirzoyan added, however, that this is a consistent process and there had been respective proposals that were unacceptable for Armenia. We have repeatedly stated that we are interested in the process of delimitation of the border with Azerbaijan, the Armenian foreign minister assured. At Thursday's cabinet meeting of the government of Armenia, Prime Minister Nikol Pashinyan reflected on the plans toward the opening of regional communications. In this connection, he recalled that Russian Deputy Prime Minister Alexei Overchuk and Russian Railways General Director Oleg Belozarov arrived in Armenia Wednesday and already met with Armenian Deputy Prime Minister Meher Grigoryan. This visit is very important. We are very close to recording the first practical results of the trilateral working group on the opening of communications in the region, Pashinyan added. Noting that the previous day's visit was entirely aimed at the construction of the Yeras, Juha, Megri, Horadis railway, Pashinyan said that the respective agreements had already been reached and that an integral part of these agreements is that when this railway will operate in the territory of Armenia, it shall do so under Armenia's laws and when operating in the territory of Azerbaijan under the latter's law. Russian President Vladimir Putin may visit Turkey in the second half of February. Ahaber TV reported. The visit, the date of which will be known after the Beijing Olympics, will take place in the second half of February. Earlier, Turkish Foreign Minister Mevlut Çavuşoğlu spoke about the possibility of the visit of Russian President Vladimir Putin to Turkey. Dmitry Peskov, the spokesman for the Russian leader, said that Putin will take advantage of President Recep Tayyip Erdogan's invitation to visit Turkey as soon as the COVID-19 situation and schedules permit. Earlier, Erdogan proposed the Ukrainian president and Russian president to visit Turkey. However, the Kremlin has rejected the proposal. Ukraine has expressed its intention to purchase new drones from Turkey, head of the Public Relations Department of the Presidential Administration of Turkey, Fahrettin Altun, told Bloomberg on the occasion of the 30th anniversary of diplomatic relations between Turkey and Ukraine. The volume of trade between Ukraine and Turkey last year increased by 59%, reaching $7.1 billion. To date, Ukraine has purchased 12 Turkish drones and also expressed its intention to purchase new devices at the level of the chief of the general staff. CNN Worldwide President Jeff Zucker has resigned over his long-standing affair with colleague Alison Golist, CNN's Director of Marketing. I acknowledge the relationship evolved in recent years. I was required to disclose it when it began, but I didn't. I was wrong. As a result, I am resigning today," Zucker said. He did not name this colleague, but the relationship in question is with Alison Golist, who remains at CNN. Designed by Virgil Abloh as part of a collaboration between Louis Vuitton and Nike, the Air Force One sneakers are up for auction at Sotheby's from January the 26th to February the 8th, the Business of Fashion reported. The total bet for all pairs is already about $6.1 million, although the initial estimate of the total amount was $1 to $3 million. The cost of one sneaker is $60,000, with an estimate of $2,000. 
Apple and Samsung smartphones are among the most anticipated ones among users and journalists, which are scheduled for release in 2022, Mozeyon reported. Analysts of the company conducted an assessment of media and social media to name the most popular smartphone of those that of will be released this year. And based on articles in publications and consumer publications, experts identified 50 devices and the iPhone 14 topped the list with 1.1 million mentions.